Next, we'll say now that all pairs of alternate angles are equal. So, looking at angle 1 and angle 8 as a pair, and angle 2 and angle 7 as a pair, they are, more specifically, alternate exterior angles, and they are equal. Also, pairs of angles 3 and 6 and 4 and 5, which are more specifically called alternate interior angles, they are also equal. Why? Let's see. These two angles, 3 and 4, are a linear pair. And so you know from chapter 2, linear pairs are supplementary. In other words, they add up to 180 degrees. And angle 4 and angle 6 are also supplementary, because the lines are parallel. For example, if a transversal line is perpendicular to both parallel lines, angle 4 and angle 6 would be 90 degrees each, because that is the definition of perpendicularity. Now, as the transversal moves in a slant and loses its perpendicularity, one angle becomes smaller and the other one larger by the same amount, but they still add up to 180 degrees. In other words, they are still supplementary. In here, I'll remind you of what we said in Chapter 2, Section 2. If two angles are supplementary to the same angle, then the angles are equal. Remember? So angle 3 and angle 6 are equal because they are supplements of the same angle, angle 4. So we can say with confidence that if two parallel lines are caught by a transversal, pairs of alternate interior and alternate exterior angles are equal. The alternate exterior angles are equal because angle 2 is equal to angle 3 because they are vertical. And angle 7 and angle 6 are equal because they are also vertical. So, if angle 3 and angle 6 are equal, then angle 2 and angle 7 are also equal. All this is achieved by substitution.